guys and welcome back. This is a new mini series on the cuttlefish. It'll be a three part episode and I hope you enjoy. Cuttlefish are a member of the class cephalopod along with octopuses, squid and nautiluses. Uh, and despite their name, cuttlefish are not actually fish, they're a group of mollusks. Cuttlefish inhabit tropical and temperate ocean waters. They are mostly shallow water animals, although they are known to go to depths of around 2,000 feet or 600 meters, and they have an unusual biogeographic pattern. Many species can be found in East and South Asia, while others are found in Western Europe and the Mediterranean, with some of them being found along the coasts of Africa and Australia, but are totally absent in the Americas. A theory suggests that the family evolved after uh, the North Atlantic possibly had become too cold and the deep water wouldn't allow for them to cross as they live so close to the ocean floor. The most well known cuttlefish species is the common cuttlefish, or otherwise known as the European cuttlefish, as it's found in the Mediterranean and North and Baltic seas, although it has been suggested. So Subspecies populations have been, been known to occur in South Africa. Cuttlefish is listed under the Red List category of least concern by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. This means that while there has been some overexploitation of the animal in some regions due to large scale commercial fishing, their wide geographic range prevents them from being too threatened. However, ocean acidification has caused a uh, potential threat that could wipe out the species. So after hatching up the egg, the cuttlefish's diet consists mostly of small shrimp shortly after hatching. Uh, however, when they get older, their preferred diet is crabs and fish and other small mollusks. Cuttlefish use their camouflage abilities to hunt and sneak up on their prey. They swim at the bottom where shrimp and crabs are found and shoot out a jet of water to uncover the prey buried in the sand. Then when the prey tries to escape, the cuttlefish fish open their eight arms and shoot out two long feeding tentacles to grab them. Each arm has a padded cover and suckers which grabs and pulls prey towards its beak, paralyzing it with venom before eating it. In order to achieve a hypnotic effect, and stun prey before catching them. Cutfish are also known to change colour rapidly. There are over 120 different species of cuttlefish, and they are currently recognised in group 25 genre. Uh, Sepia deridae contains seven species in two genera, and all the rest are in Sepidae. Uh, Sepidae contains one such as the common cuttlefish the giant cuttlefish and the hooded cuttlefish. Cuttlefish have been found to have many uses in the human world. Uh, they can be used in food in East Asia, Mediterranean and England. Uh, the ink, which is also known as sepia, was formerly an important dye and today artificial substitutes are made instead. Uh, the cuttle bone has been used since antiques to make casts for metal. A model is pushed into the cuttle bone and removed, leaving an impression. And molten gold, silver, or pewter can be poured into the cast to make an ornament piece. Scientists have learned to like replicate art and make artificial chromatophores, which is how they change the colour of their skin, which I'll go into in the next video. Uh, and this was done at Bristol University to make smart clothing. Uh, paving the way for like, camouflage applications and that for military and different clothes being able to change colour to indicate like temperature and things like that. And they've also been kept as pets, although it's quite rare. But um, the most common ones are the common 
cuttlefish and the dwarf cuttlefishes. They are the easiest to keep. Okay guys, yeah, so that's the end of part one. If you want to see part two, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to get notified when I post it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.